Hey everybody, Adam with Fanny, uh, hanging out in my workshop. This is the garage uh, here. Uh, got my lovely CRX5 on the old workbench. Um, this is actually my demo robot. I take this around to customer facilities and do demos and do training and stuff like that. And uh, this guy's in desperate need of an update. And I thought, well, if I'm going to update a robot, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Um, if you've been following my channel and subscribing and everything, thank you. I really appreciate that. But if you followed it, you saw my last video uh, that things are changing. Uh, Fanic Corporate is going to uh, commandeer some of my training videos, uh, some of the ones that are more specific toward Fanic training. But they were like, hey, we really do love what you're doing. And you bring a lot of value to the customers with your tribal knowledge and gained experience. Um, so we're going to reformat the channel. Um, so what's going to happen is things where it's like DCS training or how to set up a frame or registers or things like that, that's going to end up on Fanuc's channel because it's Fanuc training. That's their brand. That's their baby. But things that are like, you know, hey, how would you do this conveyor setup? Or I have this weird issue or what's the best way to tackle this or update a robot. Thing, things that are you know, application, real world specific, um, I can still own that. Um, so I feel like this channel is gonna turn more into Q&A, where you ask questions, I give you answers. Um, I can maybe even turn it more podcast style, little episodes of, of just different things that I've seen and done and what's working, not work. So please stay tuned, keep coming back. But for now, for today, let's update this robot. So I'm going to show this all to you uh, in real time, in one take. I don't edit. I don't cut. You know, it's not how I roll. I'm going to show you how this works. Now, bonus footage. This is a CRX, and this is the only robot where you have to update both the robot and the tablet. If you had a yellow robot, any industrial robot, uh, you do not update the teach pendant. That, that goes along with the controller. By the way, you can hear my controller humming along. It's down there. It's running. Sorry for the background noise. Um... But here's what you're going to do to start. You're going to go online. You're going to download the Fanuc uh, tablet update, put it on a USB, and plug it into this guy. And then, wake up. Then you're going to go down here to your Files app. You're going to go to your USB storage. You're going to see what's on your USB. For me, it's the Tablet 29 folder. Another folder. And it's got some instructions on how to do it, but then it's got the tablet APK. Uh, now, I've already updated this. I don't know what will happen if I click it again. Eh, same thing. You click it and you get a little love note here that says, would you like to update and install? Simply press install. It takes about 30 seconds. Uh, and then you've got the new tablet TP software on your robot. And life is good. Now, for the second half of this video, I'm going to tell you how to update the robot itself, which is probably the more important one, and it's the one that's common among other robots. So the first thing I need to show you, in addition to my little workshop here, is <clears throat> I have downloaded and installed the update, or excuse me, I have downloaded and copied the auto update onto that USB, and it is critically important uh, that you extract all the files. There can be no parent folders or parent files. Um, just put everything on a naked root, nothing on that disk other than the update. Let me put this back in the dock here. So I've got that on there. And again, this process is gonna be the same whether you have a cobot or an industrial robot, doesn't really matter, but I have a cobot. So crank this guy up. Yes, I know there's a USB. Let it go through its little boot area here. And I'm also going to show you uh, what revision I'm currently sitting at. So I'm gonna do this in the legacy style because this works for every single Fanuc robot. So it's easier to follow. The first thing I'm gonna do is go into my status, status key. And if this page isn't up, you go type and then version ID. You hit the type key and then version ID. And you can see 
that I'm sitting here writing at the version 9.4 build 34. That P level is the build, it's major and minor. So I'm on 34, I need to update that. I'm gonna go to my menu key, menu, go to file, and it's gonna pull this up. Now I'm already at UD1, which is good because my disc is in the door, but if I wasn't, I can press utilities, set device, and then choose uh, where I want this directory to be aimed at. Um, now mine's in the door, so again, UD1 is good. I want to see what files are on here, so let's press enter. And I've already, like I said, I've extracted all of those files. So when I look on here, it's got 75 different files for this update, and they're all in that directory. All I have to do now, next page, the install key, install and auto update. Press enter. <laughs> oh man, don't you love when you get these love notes? Enable the TP for this operation. Okay, let's try again, shall we? Install, auto update, press enter. Thinking, thinking. Software will be updated, okay? Yes. Give me a backup. It always wants to take a backup of where we are today. So I'll just put in today's date. Um, I hope it can have a lead digit of zero, but zero, two, one, five, two, four. I don't know if that'll work or not. Hope it does. Yep. So now you can see the love notes at the bottom. Uh, this guy is taking backups. It's gonna run and take a full backup of where this robot currently is. And then what it's gonna do is it'll start, I'll keep monitoring this, while it's doing the backup, as soon as that's done, it's going to start the actual load and install of the software. And at some point we'll get a little love note. We'll see if this gives it to me here. There should be a love note that says, please cycle pop. Um, and then after we cycle, there it is. All right. Oh, wow, Never mind. That that went really fast. Um, there we go. Okay. Cycle power of the robot controller. Let's do that. Always give it a chance to discharge the capacitors. Three seconds. Back on. And now as this boots back up, don't need that page. As this boots back up, and reestablishes a connection. What I expect to see, uh, there it is, is updating software with a little status bar. It does take a while, it doesn't take an hour, but it'll, it'll probably take a good 20 or 30 minutes and, and this will count down. And as soon as it's done, the robot will come to life and you'll have an updated robot. I'm actually updating from version 34 up to version 56. So I'm expecting to see some really cool new things um, this is a really good habit for you to get into, at least if you have bugs or you've had some user, uh, just user experience issues, check online, see if there's an update. There's probably something that'll make your life easier. Um, if your robot's running great and you have no problems, don't update it. Um, but if you want to kind of stay on top of everything, I'd say once or twice a year, go through this process and get it on the latest and greatest. Um, guys and girls, thank you so much for all of your support. Uh, keep the love coming, and I'm sure I'll be seeing you around. Thanks a bunch. Have fun. Program.